Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, this is a requested video uh, from Excalibur6246. Could a vid on the Quanta Vandal possibly be done, they ask. Love the weapon. It's my fave in the game, and I hope to get a tenant version someday. I've seen videos of it tearing up level cap. It's deaths really underrating, underrated, judging by its very high dispo. I'm not going to lie, the Quanta Vandal is an insanely, insanely strong single target weapon. Um, it is incredibly well suited for disruption level caps because you basically only have to kill one enemy. And because of how like precise and high uh, intensity this weapon is, uh, that being said, this weapon does suffer a bit from um, kill rate, like kill rate per hour. Uh, though, to be honest, it still does pretty good. Dual beam, so an 8-2 multi-shot makes sense. Um, and it's a little sticky on the enemy. But let's go ahead and take a look at the base stats. We'll look at the new bro build first. We'll build that up from scratch. 22% uh, crit chance, 2.4 crit multiplier, so pretty decent. Really high... Uh, st hold on. I actually have... Sorry about that. I actually have a status chance red on the frame I was using. Okay, so 22% crit chance, 2.4 crit multiplier. Status per projectile is 45%. Innate multi-shot is 2 Base damage is 13. Um, so let's do our basic build. We're going to do damage. So serration. We're going to do multi-shot. We're going to do crit. Crit damage. Uh, I am going to be recommending the electric build. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Uh, and then we have fire rate. Not that it needs it. Uh, and then we'll do uh, ammo mutation. And then you'll have a flex slot down here. You could just do regular old status. Actually wouldn't be a waste on this because your damage is coming from status procs. So obviously more status procs, the better. Um, so before we jump into like the higher end builds, let's, let's talk about where the damage is coming from. If you go to the wiki and you look up electricity damage, right? I'm on the Warframe wiki, the electricity damage page. There's an equation for electricity procs because we're dealing damage in a dot, a status effect. It tells you what part of the modding affects your electricity, uh, your the Tesla chain status effect, which is electricity dot. Modded base damage, so base damage plus base damage bonuses. Um, this is gonna be your serration. Uh, faction damage, we won't be using that for the new bar build, even though technically you could. Um, notice that modded base damage calculation used for dots is not the same as the normal damage calculations, ignoring physical and elemental damage bonuses. Fair enough. So basically, uh, modded base damage calculation used for dots is not the same as the normal damage, ignoring physical and elemental damage bonuses. Okay. So basically, it's the green number. Um, is what your raw damage is going to be. Modded base is just serration. And because we have no other base damage on here, uh, it's not going to be affected by anything else. So the electricity bonus, Stormbringer, is not going to be included yet into uh, the electricity dot equation. It's just serration so far. Uh, base damage bonuses. So the base damage is 13 times 1 plus uh, 165, which is serration plus faction damage, which we don't have on here because we're going to be doing a general build. Now, we go to the electricity proc damage per tick. Pretty basic. 
uh, modded base damage, which is what we had before. So it's going to be 13 times 2.6. And where we get that from, or sorry, not 2, yeah, 2.65, sorry. So 13 times 2.65, we'll pull up a calculator since we're doing a little bit of math. Base damage is 13 times 2.65, pretty simple. So what we've got here so far, times one plus the electricity damage bonus, which is Stormbringer only since we have a single element. So it's gonna be times 1.9 because we do one plus 0.9 because it's a percentage, right? Which is gonna give us 64 point or 65.45 uh, plus faction damage plus additional multipliers. What are additional multipliers? Uh, critical hits, so this is where your crit damage would come in, uh, and enemy weakness points. Um, what also would come into effect, and the wiki literally lists this out, uh, would be like primary deadhead. That'll make more sense later, right? Uh, so the damage tick, it shows you what the math is here, uh, which is, the example is the innate 100, if you want to follow along with the equation here. It tries to solve it up here. So our base damage is going to be 13. We added in serration here. We did not equip faction damage, so this is a 1. And that gave us the initial number that we had. The electricity mod multiplier is uh, <clears throat> 1 plus 0.9. The 0.9 is the electricity mod, Stormbringer times faction damage, which we don't have, so it's one. So the electricity mod multiplier is simply uh, times 1.9, which is what we multiplied by. And then you get the equation for the tick damage, which is 0.5 times what we got up here. So it's gonna be, we'll redo it again, just to make sure. So 13 is the base damage times 2.65, which is serration which is 165% for the first part of the equation. So that equals 34.45. And then you have to multiply it by the second part of the equation, which is basically 1.9 because there's no faction. Times 1.9. And we'll check. That's what we got before, so we did it right. So that's what our electricity dot is. So when we think about like how much damage we're doing, basically what we're, that matters in terms of the electricity dot itself, at its base, non-critical, uh, it has no crit tiers, the white damage on the electricity damage is going to be serration, stormbringer, and status chance. Okay, so we have three mods affecting the white damage. Now, it's basically just going to get multiplied one to one. So should we quit, or should, yeah, should we quit? Should we crit, which we will 55% of the time, we would then multiply this, the 65.45, which is our electricity damage, our white damage, but that triggers a status effect, times 5.3 equals 346.911, right? Um, and that's if it crits. Okay, so not too bad, 346. Now, the numbers are going to be bigger. And here's the reason why. So when you see a crit, the non-crit damage is 65, and the crit damage is 346. The reason why the numbers are going to look bigger is because you can proc multiple status or multiple the status multiple times because of the multi shot. So let's just theoretically see what our max potential is on a crit. So we might see this specific number as it pops up. So 3.8, 3.9, 3.9. 
that's going to be uh, basically four, right? So we'll just round up, say we got all four. So we should see a 1387 damage tick. And there's an easy way to check this. Now that Overguard is in the game, instead of doing the exos, I am going to find, I am going to search for Eximus, get rid of the exos, look for, actually, you know what? Thrax has a really good health pool. Okay, these guys have Overguard. Any enemy that has Overguard is completely susceptible to this. Because Overguard doesn't have any bonuses to it, you can check your damage really easily. And I recommend you doing this. So we're going to check and see if we can see our 65 damage and our 346 damage. But if we hit everything perfect, we might see a 1387. So the upper end on the damage tick is going to be 1387. But the issue is going to be is that because there's so many status ticks, it's going to go up. Let's see if we can get it to go down. All right, 147, so that's four ticks. 289. Let's try to figure out what that was. 289 divided by 2... Divided by 34.45. Okay, so it was about four electricity procs. That's six, 469. Divided by four. Okay, 117. Divided by 35. So it was a crit and two non-crits. So the issue with your testing is going to be the multi-shot. So the, the highest, the most perfect single instance of damage where everything triggers correctly is going to be 1347. But if we continue to shoot, You can see it says 69k, and what that is, is all of the dots condensed into one single tick, and we can shoot the head and get even more damage, right? Because if you shoot the head and you crit, the head is a th three times damage multiplier, and if you crit, you get an additional two, so up to six, right? Let's go ahead and reload. Headshot, 179. Now we got a 29. Instantly burns through Overguard because all of our damage is on a dot. We're not reliant in any way, shape, or form on Viral boosting our damage. So 71k, but we're dealing with armor. So the, if you're running, like, say... Um, like a Zeraman mission. These guys are pretty... This weapon's pretty good for dealing with Thraxes. 154. 17k. Get some headshots. 109k. But it's a 118 electricity procs. So it's taking those small little procs and giving you a ton of them and then displaying one number. So that's where this weapon's damage comes from. Um, so what would this weapon excel against? Uh, Demolus. Uh, really tanky enemies where you need to blow up a single one. Uh, especially with the Nubro build. If you're having trouble with Eximus, the, the Quana Vandal don't care. Just zap them a bit. These are later in the star chart enemies. So 14k, Panzer is going to dick around and not hit him.
But to burn through Overguard, this is definitely an option. So, yeah, burning through Overguard, it does really well. The armor kind of murders the electricity procs. So how do we scale this? <clears throat> well, we put the exact same mods on, but they're different. They're upgraded versions. First, we do our Arcane, which is our base damage. Galvanized Aptitude counts as base damage as well. It also gives a status chance, more status chance, more electricity procs. Nothing wrong with that. Galvanized Chamber instead of Split Chamber is our multi-shot. So more multi-shot, more chances to trigger status procs. Um, even more chance uh, to do raw damage. So more instances of damage. Crit chance, crit damage, that hasn't changed. Stormbringer even stays the same. Um, and depending on what your tolerance is uh, for aiming, Galvanize Scope does get you to oranges. Okay? I like it. I don't mind it. If you don't like Galvanize Scope, Serration is also a good choice. Um, if you... I don't know. If you want to do... Uh, like more generalized damage you could even do like amalgam serration is a good substitute obviously it's less than serration but it will give a floor to your damage um let's see what else can we do uh like a 60 60 for electricity even though to be honest at this point it's overkill because we have uh aptitude and hammer shot which is really good in this instance um, hammer shot has kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit, but because of what this weapon is, more or less, um, <clears throat> you need status chance and you need crit damage, and because you're not worried about fire rate, because the fire rate is so high, you really do kind of have a flex slot here, because you're gonna be getting so many ticks anyway, you might as well just make each bit of ammo count more and increase your crit damage even more. So even with this build, this is a Rivenless build, um, I'll show you, I don't feel that it needs Galvanize uh, Scope uh, or Serration, so that's actually my Riven slot. Um, though I do tweak things around a little bit. So let's go ahead and kill enemies, bring them back. So 24k. Armor's not doing us any favor. And there's also a... You know what? Let's shoot something else. Uh, we don't get... Because they have to go into that like ephemeral form. We actually can't get... Uh, stacks on Deadhead. So Exos. Shoot this guy in the head. First stack's the hardest. About 20k. Not a big deal. Now we're at 60k. Now we're at 120. 200. Little Flick is 41. 196. 323. So, okay, it climbs a bit once we get everything stacked up. Obviously not bad. Um, so why is this weapon... Because uh, the, the question that was originally asked... Um, I've always seen it tearing up level cap. It defies... It, it's definitely really underrated. Why is this weapon used? 
if you look at the weaknesses and the strengths of electricity, it's a lot more general than it, it seems, right? Cloned flesh, flesh, uh, infested health, infested flesh, it doesn't receive any bonuses at all. But it's not hurt by anything except alloy armor, which if you're doing a level cap, you should be stripping anyway. So the only thing that murders electricity is something that's going to be stripped anyway, right? So it just is a neutral uh, damage type overall. But armor really hurts it just because of how weak generally the base damage is on electricity weapons. But the fact is, is with the arcane the damage arcane and the multipliers on it and the status from the galvanized mod and the base damage from the galvanized mod you can actually get the base damage up pretty well because right now 24 i know this looks super weak but it's because it doesn't incorporate the three stacks of deadhead which would increase the damage by uh 360 right so just to do the math, 120 times 3, 3 stacks of deadhead, each stack counts for 120 is 360. 24.7 plus 360 percent is 113, right? And then you multiply it by 3.6 because that counts as uh, base damage effectively because it's guaranteed... like. If you get everything correct, um, your large number average will equal out to every instance of damage is about 409. Obviously, things scale, though. Like, this is unscaled damage. Because um, aptitude hasn't scaled. Chamber hasn't scaled, which gets five stacks. Um, and obviously, aptitude gives you more base damage. So the base damage starts to get pretty high. It's not like Kuva weapon high, but it does get pr like a pretty good multiplier on it. One second. It does get a pretty good multiplier on it. Um, so the base damage is pretty decent. Your white number damage. But then on top of that, with a hammer shot and the occasional orange um, and the 6.7 crit multiplier, and then on top of that, it's proccing a bunch of statuses each time it hits. So basically, every time you hit something, you're triggering five to seven statuses each time, more or less. So... It's that's where it's getting the multiplier at. It's the same thing as with the uh, the convectrix with slash. But to go back to the level cap thing, where the convectrix gets its multiplier from a shit ton of multi shot because it's a shotgun, and the efficient beams, um, and the status chance that comes from it, where the convectrix triggers a ton of slash procs each time the quanta is similar where it gets its damage from the amount of electricity procs the difference is is that this can hit oranges and on top of that where slash doesn't have it electricity has the electricity damage bonus so it incorporates electricity mods on it so in terms of slashed uh, dot damage, this weapon compared to the Convectrix is stronger in terms of the damage that it can pump out. But you have to sort of, you know, pull it out of it. Um, one of the ways you can do that uh, is any, like, Roar. Roar is the easy answer. Get a nice chunky... Uh, roar dot and it's practically a mini nuke i know it's pink
So 20k, 50k, 126k, 164k, 1.5 mil, 1.2 mil, 440k, 1.35 mil, died to the raw damage, half a mil, 126. Okay, they're just dying the raw, to the raw damage now. 200k. Yeah, there is a ton of damage there. Once you really get the chance to start shooting stuff. So even at like higher levels, um, obviously take lockdown. Um, but you're not going to have this rhino roar, right? Because you're going to helmet roar into something else. Um, you could do something like a volt. If you can keep Vault alive. Let's see, what do we have? Shield. Yeah, this one. And it's up to you. Yeah, 400k stacked up, 140k, 114, 300k, and this is all with no roar. Let me see how much damage we can actually get out of this. One twenty nine, one ninety three. Yeah, you might have to shoot something a couple times, um, but the fact is, is you're not going to be getting that two fifty, three hundred, four hundred percent strength Rhino Roar. But you could take this, and I've got Smite Infusion on here, um, just because of what I was using it for. Uh, but the fact is, is you could helmet that off for roar put it on like your uh two or your four with like a you know protective dash build uh and that would be exceptionally nasty at high levels that is a lot of multiplier shoved onto an electric dot you probably wouldn't even need to full strip until you know thousands of levels in uh but i haven't tried this i really don't level cap with volt but the fact is is the multipliers are there uh, with the shield giving the extra crit damage um, and the electro extra electricity where normally uh, maybe it would interfere with your elements because the weapon is electricity only, you actually get a pretty nutty multiplier on it. Um, like the benefit is definitely like 100 pennies on the dollar of where it needs to go. And then the crit damage on top of it, roar scales again, um, and you take the augment for the one. And I couldn't imagine this not being level cap capable. Like, it's got to do a ton of damage on an electricity weapon. Just make sure to full strip the enemy, prime it a little bit. Um, but this is, this is something like the build they're using. Um, I got a Riven that status chance electricity, so my build would be this... Like this. Um, and I would go acceleration. Just to get as much attack speed and multipliers on the weapon as possible. Even on Neja, I got a uh, status chance uh, Tau Red.
146 K 125 228 prime it with a 2 107 334 300 116 yeah I couldn't imagine this level capping especially with like a volt um, with like Rhino Roar um, use the Naro strip on it I couldn't imagine this being not able to level cap just make sure to strip and it's all go good from there and Deadhead does give you uh, like the bookie does mention that Deadhead does give you the plus 30% to the headshot multiplier which is even more damage considering you're getting crit so much so it's important to try to get to 100% crit it's a nice multiplier because of the headshot bonus and then the critical headshot bonus giving the additional multiplier on top of that. So it's an extra 6x damage if you can. Make sure to get those headshots. At lower levels like star chart, you can basically graze something and the electricity tick will kill them. So anyway, I hope this explains where the scaling comes from, why people like it. Uh, if you full strip... The Quanta Vandal does better dot damage than slash weapons. And slash weapons are already pretty nuts. So, because you can mod for the slash damage, or for the uh, electricity damage, because you can actually put mods on it to increase the electricity damage, it's, it's hard for slash to compete. Um, especially with, you know, like, faction multipliers and everything. So, pretty basic. That's how you scale it. That's how you get to level cap. Because uh, it seemed like you were kind of looking at it. What you would want to do for, like, a kill uh, would be lockdown, uh, Unaro strip. Uh, say if you're using Volt, you would obviously set up a shield, cast uh, your augment on one, and then blast the thing in the head. Uh, if you weren't, you would try to get, like, a vulnerability multiplier on it. And then Unaru strip. Um, so like with Neja, I would cast a two, jump out of, into my operator, full strip, go back into my frame. So the multipliers had a chance to take effect. Not that there's any sort of lag or anything on that. Um, but just had, so it's had the chance to jump around a bit. And then after I've jumped into my operator, right, the first time, I'll have locked down also. Back into the frame, hit them with the one, hit them with headshots until they literally explode. It's a pretty quick combo, but that's that's where the damage is coming from. The videos, because you've said you've seen videos of it tearing up level cap. That's where the damage comes from. It's because electricity has pretty good multipliers on it already. And it really doesn't have any bad matchups except for alloy armor, but you're full stripping anyway, so it doesn't exist at level cap. And on top of it, you can put electricity mods to further increase the damage. So, uh, the only thing that I could possibly say in terms of like a solid negative, if you will, uh, is this tends to not do very well against uh, acolytes, so make sure you take something on that level cap. Uh, that can deal with the Acolytes pretty pretty easily. But anyway, I hope this helps. Excalibur 6246. Uh, that's how you scale it up. That's the base build for the new bros. Um, so you can get to that level cap damage. I, I can't recommend Volt enough. It's literally tailor-made for Volt uh, for killing demos. So anyway, take it easy, dudes. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Have a blessed day. Bye.